Hey y'all, welcome back. It is June. It's June 1st. So Stitch Mayhem is over for another year, but I did want to pop in real quick and show you my progress from yesterday on my new start, Things Unseen by Lizzie Kate, as voted on by all of you. Uh, it was a really fun May. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to show you my progress here and then I'll tell you what I've got coming up in June, but um, I don't know when next floss tube will be, but hopefully we'll be back next May to do this all over again. So here's my progress from last night. Ta-da! Pretty good. Pretty good. This was a, this was a solid couple hours of stitching and um, love this border. And I really like this fabric that I chose. This is 32 count linen from Be Stitch Me and not another sampler, uh, which I think was a initially um, a club. I'm I'm in her monthly fabric club. I now get a 36 count, although I might go back to 32 because I'm pulling fabric for this. I'm finding that. I don't have a lot of 32 anymore, so um, we'll see, but love this fabric, and this is going to be a really fun stitch. This is going to be a really fun stitch. It's going to be really pretty. It's going to take a while, <laughs> so I'm sure it'll be back next year, but uh, thanks for the great pick, and for June, um, I, I still have been working on my whips on their birthdays. Until so when a whip has a birthday, I work on that whip until the next whip has a birthday. But I've got a long stretch here at the beginning of June. Um, so I think I'm going to do some whip go catch up, some whip go catch up uh, this week and, or this these next couple weeks and try to knock out some whip go calls that I didn't get finished in previous months. But the biggest thing that I'm going to be looking at is um, the Stitch for Pride Challenge that Dee's 20 Stitches has put together. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I may not get to all the stitching challenges, but um, the most amazing thing that Dee has done for all of us is uh, learning modules every day, every day with little stitching challenges. So you do the learning thing first, and then you do the active, the active part of craftivism, and then there's a stitching challenge. So I may not get to the stitching challenge every day, but that actually seems like maybe perhaps the least important part. So I'm very excited for that and some whip go catch up. And I hope everybody had a wonderful May and thanks for coming along on this ride with me. And hopefully I'll see you right back here to do it again next May. Bye.